Hello and happy rainy Monday in Sydney, Australia. Um, this month for March, I've got four really powerful tips and tricks for getting more from your pelvic floor. So, you know, most of us who have had children or have had a gynae or pelvic um, surgery or issue have learned the Kegel, which is the lift and the drop of the pelvic floor. But where do we go from here? Like how does that skill help you run, jump, hop, skip, play netball, tennis, all the things, right? What I'm going to give you today is just one tip or one trick you can try on your power plate or off it to enhance the lift, to make it more powerful, um, not by lifting more. So we're not going to load it necessarily. We're going to take advantage of how your body is connected to make your pelvic floor lift more powerful. So there are three ways we're going to achieve this. And today's tip is all grounding techniques. So ways of using the floor to enhance the lift. So our first trick, um, there's a link to doing this technique properly in the comments of this video. But the first technique is using your foot. It's called short foot, okay? Uh, and it was developed by a podiatrist in the US called Emily Splishel. So what I want you to do is spread your toes for me, okay? And on your lift of your pelvic floor, I want you to push your foot tripod into the ground. So the tripod is your heel, your big toe and your little toe, okay? Be careful not to scrunch them up. We want them spread out. So if we breathe in and relax our pelvic floor, we breathe out and we press. You see that little lift? That's it, okay? We're just shortening those tissues with that technique. So instead of just lift and drop the pelvic floor, we're going to press the foot as we lift. So breathe in, press the foot, breathe out, relax. Breathe in, press the foot. And you can do it with both feet. Press the foot, relax the pelvic floor, press the foot. Now, some of you will not feel an enhanced pelvic floor lift using that technique. That's okay. Try one of these other ones. So using your hands. Using your hands is really common in yoga and other practices where you're down like this. But basically, it's very similar to the short foot technique. We're going to spread the hands and we're going to press each fingertip into the ground. So obviously, if you're on the power plate, we want the hands on the power plate. So breathing in, relax. Breathing out, press the fingertips and lift the pelvic floor. Breathe in, relax, no movement, right? Breathe out, press the fingertips and lift the pelvic floor. Okay, remember that a strong pelvic floor is one that lifts and drops at the right time. The other way of using your hands, uh, if you just want to sit here and do it with me, is pressing in together like this. You breathe in, relax. Breathe out, press the fingertips together. Okay, and then the final way to enhance your lift just while you're doing your Kegels is using the tongue on the roof of your mouth. So what you want to do is on the lift, you want to press your tongue up against the roof of the mouth and on your relax, you just let your tongue relax as well. Okay, so we'll do two of these together as well. Breathing in, relax your pelvic floor. Breathing out, press your tongue up and lift. Repeat again, breathe in, relax. Breathe out, press your tongue into the roof of your mouth and lift. Now, if I had 10 people in one of my training courses right now, Three of them would have really liked that one. Three of them would have liked the press of the arms and three of them would have liked the short foot. There's no right or wrong for what works for you. But what you're looking to feel is when you do these grounding techniques, there's a hundred others, by the way, like you can press down, you can do knees together, knees apart. 
But what you want to feel is that the pelvic floor feels more coordinated and more like enhanced, like you're more powerful when you use the feet, the hands or the tongue than you do when you're just sitting here lifting and dropping. All right, so I'd love to hear which technique you liked the best. And if you have any questions, just comment below or send us a message.